Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Russian Fishing 4 and I did a lot of testing today and I'm going to give you guys a video full with info so I trolled around 4 days, I got all the data that's the first part that I'm going to show you guys so the amount of time that I trolled around most of the time it was 60 minutes so that's, uh, that's uh, one day uh, the amount of money that I made and the weather type. The next part is going to be a heat map. So I got the map of Curie and uh, I put uh, positions on it where I had the big fish from certain species. I don't have the Kyora char or the brown trout because uh, the Kyora char was not very active. Uh, brown trout I didn't fish for it I only fished with the snatcher and with, uh, with the dodger crank because it was always the same. So if you do testing, you need to take two lures and you need to keep using those lures. Otherwise, you don't know what is influencing the bite. Now I can say to you guys, there is a correlation between the bite and the weather. Uh, it was indeed how it looks and how a lot of people think that it works here. The colder, the better the bite. But that's not really true because if you go under a certain temperature, the bite goes down too. I had the best bite on 8 celsius uh, a day. Uh, but that was something funny that I saw. If it goes higher uh, on the warmest day, I had two of my three Kyora chars. So I think that the Kyora char is getting active and it's a little bit warmer. I cannot say it yet. We will know it if I do some more testing. I will make an extra video about the Kyora char because it's not in it in here. Because I simply didn't have enough to put it in this video. So that's it a little bit guys. So now we are going to start with the data and then it's the heat map and then a little bit uh, how you need to troll around what I used uh, for the setup. And uh, yeah, that's what you can see in this video. Okay guys, the first part. So my four testing days and uh, what did I made? Uh, so you guys can see, uh, first you got day one, 75 minutes that I fished. 273 currency, 7 celsius cloudy, 3.6 meter per second uh, wind. I forgot to put the, the kind of direction the wind was going. Maybe that can influence by two. Uh, day two was 60 minutes, 450 currency, 8 celsius and was sunny. So that was the best day that I had, 450. It was a lot, a lot of bites. It was active the entire day. So maybe 8 celsius is like the, the best temperature that you can have. Uh, because and sunny that's very strange because I always thought cloudy or partly cloudy but that was the best day 1.9 meter per second day 3 was 60 minutes 302 currency 8 celsius partly cloudy 1.1 meter per second and day 4 was the worst one 60 minutes 192 currency 11 celsius it was a lot warmer it was a sunny day 1.4 meter per second but I had uh, cure a char on that day two of the three i had on that day so therefore it's maybe uh, possible that they bite if it is a little bit warmer but you guys can see it what i see maybe i need to test a little bit more but it seems that sunny eight celsius is good if you go lower than eight celsius in the day the bite goes down it was still a cloudy day and not a sunny uh, but uh, yeah, you guys can see it. 8 Celsius sunny was the best day that I had. Almost 400 currency. So what is the conclusion then? So time fished 75, 60, 60, 60. It's 255 minutes. Money, uh, I counted all the monies up. Then you got 1182 divided by 255. That's how much you make for every minute that I fished. It was 4.6. Multiplied 60 to get it back to hours is 278 currency for every hour that I made trolling around. Is that bad? I don't know. I don't know what they pay on the other lakes, but for me it's not that bad. Because it's a low level lake, uh, you don't damage your equipment a lot because I troll around. So And I had... Yeah, two decent days. Uh, I didn't hit a trophy. I did one cafe order that was 90 uh, silver. But I didn't wait for the lake trout above 4 kilogram. Otherwise I had a little bit more. But I think that you can go to an average of 300 an hour easy with the cafe orders. So I don't think that's really that bad. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the data. I'm going to show you guys now my uh, heat map. 
Okay guys, my heat map. Uh, so you can see that I just uh, copied the map. And then everywhere where I had like a big fish of the lake trout, rainbow trout, the savan, the pike or the arctic, I put a circle around it. So you guys can see that the lake trout is green. So you got a lot of active spots for the lake trout. Uh, that uh, you can get big lake trout, but that you can get most of the time uh, a lot of fish too. Then the big rainbow, you guys can see it, it's here on the 50 meter one. It's only one point that I had. Uh, the big savan, uh, it's over here too, that's the black one. Then the yellow one is big pike, 10 meter. There I lost my lure too, on a big pike. And I had so much pike on that area. So you guys can see it's on the 10 meter here, the yellow. So you can uh, yeah, decide for yourself. Pike doesn't pay that bad. But the main problem is, because we are not fishing with steel leaders. The main problem is, if you need to fight it longer... Then like a couple of minutes is going to buy through your line. You can decide it yourself. I had like maybe 100, 150 currency on the pike alone. I went for it. Uh, so uh, that's not that bad. Then uh, you got the Arctic only one. Uh, very good spot. A very big Arctic. In the past it was a little bit... Uh, a little bit more active spot. It's when you come from the 50 meter and you go a little bit shallow. Uh, so uh, that's when I got it. So you guys can al already see a kind of pattern in trolling. Uh, but here is the heat map. Be sure that you go over the, the areas that I put out. And now I'm going to show you guys my setups. And I'm going to show you guys on the map how you need to troll around. And some things that you need to watch if you troll uh, in this game. Okay guys, so end the video, I'm going to give you guys how I troll around. So you saw on the heat map all the spots that you need to do. So what do I do? I got uh, two routes that I take. So first of all, I go to the seven and a half meter. I go all the way to here. And then I'm coming back to this place because this was active here. It was active in here. Then I go through the 50 meter and then I can choose. You can try to go here just on the edge of the, the, the island and go back to this position. Or you just go in the deep hole to the two meter position. And then you do a turn to the left. And then you can uh, yeah, try what you want. You need to have a look a little bit what is active. I most of the time do a big route around. And then I come back and I take the 10 meter one. So it, it goes like this. I will show you guys it. That's what I do the whole time. So I cannot say more about that. Then for the setups, so you guys can of course go with the Super Duty 2. I didn't repair a setup. But this is a very, very uh, low level lake. You're going from the boat, so you don't need to have the very big setups that I'm using. But what is very important that is that you got fluor on. I would take 19.1 kilogram or under it. Uh, because what I think is and what I saw is in the past, if you go higher than 19.1 it goes always a little bit less on the bite. So stay under it. You will not need it. Because you can go around with the boat. You can go behind the fish. And that's very important. I'm using this Dodger crank. But most of the Dodger cranks. They will work here. The other setup that I'm using. Is the very heavy one. I tried this. Uh, this uh, carbon. Or uh, this line I need to say. Uh, but I don't see a difference with the 19.1. I cannot say that this is better. I use this snatcher. The entire uh, testing. Uh, so uh, it's a very heavy setup. But you don't need to have it. You can have the heavy duties here. Be sure that you got fluoro. 19.1 or under it. And use a snatcher or a dodger. That's all what you need to have. Then for the trolling. And that's very essential. So. How do you troll in this game? And I will show you guys it. First you need to buy uh, a license. Be sure that you buy more than one. That's very important. Otherwise you're going to be fucked. If you got a very big fish on. They renew automatically. If you got an extra one. But you, need to t you always need to remember. If you got a very big fish on. It's possible that, uh, that the fish is going to. Yeah. Take some time. And I'm going to put the audio off. I totally forgot about the, the sound of the boat. 
So that was a little bit a mistake, but I'm going to put the total off. That's a pity because you cannot hear everything. Uh, so first of all, you need to start rolling. You can see it at the right what you need to push. And the first tip that I want to give you guys is never stop the boat. Never do that. You always keep moving. You can steer around in this game with the rot in your hand because you're a magic wizard. So you can steer around with the rot in your hand and you cannot stop because if you got a fat one on and he's going away and uh, you cannot uh, yeah, keep him with you for the guys that are using low level equipment, you will lose him. That's how it works. Or you need to have four, 500 meter of line. Another thing that is very important Always put the friction on that you got only yellow uh, tension. Don't go in the red because uh, you will lose fish. Uh, so just yellow tension. That's, that's very easy. Another thing, very important, put your speed on 50. Push R and put it on 50. Because you're going to re uh, reel in a lot of times just by the real speed that you are using on that moment. Don't throw too far. So this is enough. The further you throw out, the, the longer it takes uh, you to... Uh, and why is this rot? Yeah. So the rots are on different positions. So rot is now... Rot 1 is on number 2. I don't want that to be honest. Can I still switch them around? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, come on, game. Are you joking? Yeah, okay. That's uh, that's not really a problem. But yeah, this is now route number one. So um, what you need to do now is very simple. Now you just roll around the entire time. Uh, you just have a look to the... To the rods if they bend. And uh, this is the most beautiful sound in the entire game. So if you hear your reel going... That's like bzzz, the whole time. And uh, I, I already had it a couple of times now. I didn't have the luck to get uh, a, a trophy in. Uh, but I already had it a couple of times. And uh, yeah, I, I cannot play like this to be honest. Because I'm always going to pick up the wrong rod. So let's get him out. And let's get him in again. Okay, this is better. What I'm going to do now is... Uh, so we are going to turn in the 50 meter hole. Let's have a look that I can get the fish. And uh, yeah, that's that's the end of the video, guys. I cannot say more to you, to you guys. So be very aware that you know where you need to go. Uh, be very aware. Speed of your reel maximum. Don't stop the boat, never. Because you can... Sometimes you need to go behind the fish. And you cannot get the boat back in action... Or you need to put your rod in the rod holder. But in this game you got a very big chance to lose the fish on that moment. So that was for the video guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun. I'm going to do now the monthly tournament in Fishing Planet. And uh, I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.